approved. Should we pass things around? Meeting convened. Meeting convened. We've done that. Minutes. Minutes. We have minutes from last meeting, September twenty yep, third, where we met with the um, the public safety as well as other departments that had possible um, requests. Can I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Any questions? Changes? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Great. Now we can jump right into the meat of this whole thing. Um, review, reviewing capital proposals for fiscal year 2020. And make a recommendation. This I have mine with my notes on it, but I might want one that's um, I agree. I don't think it hasn't been revised since last week. Oh. I, okay. Mine is old, so I can, double, I can cross check. Yes, I think it's uh, just a week ago. Yeah. I think for tonight, I um, okay. we should probably just focus on the fiscal year 2020 yeah. um, items right now, unless mm -hmm. anybody has any other comments. So, sounds like a good plan. There's been a couple of changes. Okay. And Linda's uh, gone through and she's made a recommendation uh, based upon affordability. Okay. Uh, we've also, the first uh, changes that we've heard from the Agricultural Commission, and they'd like to defer their sign until the annual time meeting. They're just not ready for it. Okay. okay. The second mm -hmm. thing we heard from was the Chief of Police on the hybrid. Mm -hmm. And he's revised his capital request upward from fifty thousand to fifty eight thousand. Is that, that based on hourly request? Is that including the camera? Is that that's one of the driving functions as well? Um, yes, I would should. Because that, that sounds like about the difference between what I it thought was. That was the only thing. I mean, that was the main the thing. New Frame. Well, you need to get the new frame, but then we also the said, cameras. why don't we put a camera on the new cruiser? A computer. Now. Set of Dog yeah. station. Radar units and newly added uh, crew cameras, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. 58. So I assume uh, that's it going forward too for the next year, so it'll be 58 at least. Yeah, right. Yeah. So. Okay, so that's. And then the third change was, uh, and Mackenzie met with us today. Paul, you may have some information about this. Yeah, we talked to yeah. <laughs> So there are two big capital items for the school, one of which is the girls' locker room, mm -hmm. and the other one is for the unit and for the HVAC on Hopkins Academy. Yes. Uh, and she said that they have applied for an MSBA grant, which they will not hear about until mid-December. So they're uh, wondering if, if it would make better sense in terms of presenting this to the voters, that we defer this to the annual town meeting, but we take the debt exclusion vote at the April annual meeting. This is the process that we follow, um, but it's reverse order. We usually take a town meeting vote followed by a debt exclusion. This time we would be talking about waiting for the information on the grant in December, and then in April, taking the debt exclusion vote, and then May 7th, we would, uh, at the annual town meeting, take the town meeting vote. That would secure the funding so that they could bid this project out the very next day and be constructing in summer. How would we educate people about that being on the ballot? That's my concern, is all of a sudden there's this item on there that we haven't talked about at any town meeting. Do we bring it up at this town meeting somehow? Yes. Okay. That's what she talked about. So we think that was your so idea on that? Leave that. it on that ballot. Okay. Well, leave it there, and then when it comes to that part, they would uh, say, we're withdrawing at this moment, but let us explain it to you. Right. You'll be hearing more from us after the grant. And then because there's a couple of things. We, 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 I want to ask the town the appropriate amount. We're, we're encouraged that we will get something from MSBA. So these amounts, we're hoping, will be too high. And then secondly, we would like to be able to break ground, or do the, the work, I'm sorry, over the summer. 
-hmm. So yeah. that's why if we put it off until the next town meeting in April, we wouldn't be doing work until the next year. Mm -hmm. So is the uh, reverse sequence, is that allowed by the Department of Revenue? They, they bless that? Really? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in fact, this town has done it before. There was a reverse sequence vote on the elementary school back in 93. Hmm. So. Okay. I, I think that when we when I heard this that we could do it that way, I think that would should should be something we think about in the future. Like we should I don't I don't think we should have three have to go to ballot three times a year. You know, one before annual town meeting, one after annual town meeting, one after special town meeting, too many ballots. Plus if you do it with the annual, how many a lot of people show up for that. So you're gonna get a better turnout for people to vote. Mm -hmm. So I like the fact of more people having to say and, and voting for something. So, and every time we do a ballot vote, it costs the town money. So if we could figure out a way to not have to do more than two, I mean, if we <coughs> plan and we do our, <coughs> any capital now, and it's gonna have to go to a vote because we're gonna be doing debt exclusions, and then anything, keep in the back of our mind, anything else that we ha might have to do in the spring, either do it then and try to get out mailings or other ways to tell people or wait to the to just do it in, in, the, in the fall. But to have to do it three times each time costing the town money, I'd like to try yeah, to. Doing it this way, it's fine, but like Linda said, you need to have some really good communications out there for everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they are voting and Right. Prior to the town meeting vote. But a lot of the people that, that vote, especially on that one, wouldn't go to town, don't go to town meeting anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny. Well, I mean, if you look to see how many people are at the ballots yeah, yeah. that vote for the annual versus how many people show up to town meet. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, yeah. If people don't know what they're voting and they're not going to vote for it. I that's the obvious. Right. Okay. So that's our general philosophy. Let's just do you want to go through the list okay. and see where we're at for mm -hmm. debt exclusion in total? Can we, what we'd be recommending, or do you want to skip around? Where do you want can, to? Uh, well, I'd like to hear uh, Linda's recommendation. Okay, let's start that. there then. Okay. But before we before we jump into that, Paul, I just wanted to make sure that if we were to defer your two projects, that we have our ducks in a row with respect to bid-ready documents that's design and specifications by May 8th. Right. That would be the intent, right? So we, like you said, the next day we would put them out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So Linda, you have a recommendation. Yeah, well, when you look at your our sheet and you've got the uh, our second column being capital stabilization, and I think that we recognize now that we don't really have that much to spend in capital st stabilization anymore. And uh, there were a bunch of turn backs, David, I think that they have all been claimed, but I don't know if we, if, if, I don't see that we have any more than a couple of thousand to spend in the out of capital stabilization. Right. The turn backs aren't going, are they all delayed until the next meeting, I assume? Right. Or at least, okay, so, um, so we have that column, which means uh, it looks like we have a funding source, but we, we don't. The next column, now is borrowing within the levy, and we don't have anything there. So mm -hmm. the borrowing within the levy is, uh, that means we don't go to the debt exclusion vote. So we could still be doing that in the fall, Amy, even if your mm -hmm. thoughts took place for the spring, we could still do the borrowing within the levy portion of it at the annual town, at the fall town meeting, because we just need to vote at the meeting and we're done. We don't need to go and have a ballot vote on these items. Mm -hmm. And we typically um, use them for, um, uh, you, in, in the past, I think it's because things are time sensitive. We don't have time to wait for a vote, such as when we bought the piece of property in North Hadley. Mm -hmm. um, some are just small, and we don't want to clutter up the ballot with $15,000 items. Um, and as, especially since people may not know what they're voting for, and you just, you just put too much out at risk, and it's, it's nice to have a certain number of things within the control of the people at the town meeting who have really heard the entire explanation and can get it through. So I, um, so a lot of what we have been up to now putting in capital stabilization can be moved over then to the voting, to the uh, uh, borrowing within the levy column. Um, I have about 
a lot to, of it or all of it? Well, let's see. Um, I am suggesting, if you want to uh, just check it off in that column, mm -hmm. the um, and, and this is, uh, I made the assumption that everything is passing one way or another. We have a, I'm not, I know we still need to get to the, 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 the actual approvals from you and, and you know, quite honestly, the whole bulk of it is is rather large. Mm -hmm. But uh, going down through the capital stabilization, it's the IT, definitely the 5,750. The cruiser actually could come over. We did the cruiser within the levy this year. And uh, the, the body and cruiser cameras, the training, those are fairly smaller uh, items. Um, OSHA could come over. The um, hydrant, uh, if that's approved, could come over. The 30000 for the mower um, is a smaller item, as are the town hall locks down under DPW. Uh, I would move that 20668 over from debt exclusion to levy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, next would be the same thing with the 11000 for the uh, surface in the parking lot, just because it's 11000 even though it is a capital item. And, I suppose could be lumped in depending on what the mix is with what is being approved. Sometimes you can tuck in these together, but on its own, I'm seeing that as something that can go over. Um, uh, the, uh, the Board of Health software over uh, the 20,000 in computers for COA. Actually, I, I'm just, uh, it's not, maybe that's not there. Oh, it is there. Mm -hmm. 20,000 computers. Um, I actually, uh, I, my suggestion for that one is, is move it over to the, we have that far column called Other, and um, since we now have the Council on Aging article, that's something we could consider putting that there, um, which is what I've done with, uh, with the locker rooms and unit events too. I've taken those two large items and moved them over to that fourth column where it says Grant, Grant. We put those two there, hoping we're going to get a grant. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, the uh, Board of Health IT is there. I would suggest uh, that we, we need to follow up on that and see if it can be, can be combined with the uh, the Board of Health, uh, the Select Board one, or if those are, if it's very distinctly um, Board of Health software. And then the last three would be uh, the Town Hall items 7.7 7 and 17.5 for the, uh, the work in Town Hall. Um, those items all together in the levy come up to 246. 1,418. Um, I think if we keep within the levy down under 250,000, uh, that is the smartest thing to do. Right now, our payments within the levy are about 180, 185. Um, but trying to shift that up a little bit each year, if we had some extra money to put at that item, since this is a, such a good way to borrow and we don't have the capital stabilization anymore, I'd love to see that figure be. 250, 300,000. That means we're paying for it out of the budget like any other line item, mm -hmm. uh, any operational line item. And that we have a lot that we could tuck in and just take care of business without throwing every small item out to, to the ballots. Um, I, I do have some other notes on changes, uh, other ones that could move over. Let's say some things were uh, removed from the levy column. The uh, vehicle extraction for 35000 could come over. The gas pumps for thirty is another candidate. Town hall security, uh, cameras and security is another candidate for that. Um, the only other change that I made, because I wasn't cutting anything out, uh, was uh, to take the DPW amount, the DPW facility, which is $1.5 million. Is it still on? Okay. I moved that over to the FAR column, too. And um, as, as suggesting that that go into 21, and I put $25,000 in the column because we have $25,000 left over in a prior OPM article, which we used <coughs> as seed money for the, uh, uh, at least two of the buildings. That was a $50,000 general OPM article. We borrowed and spent almost, we borrowed 25000 and spent almost all of that. I didn't borrow the second 25000 because by then the groups had moved on and had um, gotten separate funding from the town in order to cover it. So we still have that saved money mm -hmm. in there and that would take care of addressing that for this year and bump off the larger vote until after we've gotten that handled. So. 
that's what I did. Okay. <laughs> I, did those, I mean, those are just some notes that I have. So I, my thinking is that if we have, uh, if we keep the levy borrowing under t under 250, and then come up with a budget amount for the debt exclusion amounts too. I mean. Um, I think that we end up putting in that column everything that is everything else that you want to fund, but we don't have another way of funding. You just say put it out for debt exclusion. It may be time because if you look through in the later years, there's a lot of requests in there that we need to get, uh, I'd say, some kind of system and control over it. Mm -hmm. Even if seven, even if we had it put out for years, it's still in the pipeline. It's there. That's the benefit of doing a 10-year plan is that you're not sitting here saying absolutely no to something, unless it really doesn't make sense. If a project makes sense and we simply didn't, can't afford it, you can put it out a few years and say, don't worry, we're getting to you in the meantime. Can you get by? Uh, how, well, how can we make sure we manage until that point? So, Linda, do you have new totals then based on your suggestions um, for the levy and the net exclusions? No copies of those? Um, Right, and I actually I, I could I can make cop I can make color copies of this. Is that you want? Yeah. But I just did. It. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Sure. Thank you. Just I'm sure Linda knows this. If you know it, but have we gotten a free cash number? No, we just so. uh, we just solved that problem this afternoon. So okay. Susan got Susan got the last of the sewer water uh, straightened out, and she communicated that to Justin. Okay. So I'm still sticking with my seventy-five thousand dollars for capital. About seventy-five thousand yeah, is what we think. Right. There's probably not much more than that in there, from what you have right now. Could be higher. Okay. Could be higher, but. And I just say that because we're meeting tonight, so I'd hate to go down the seventy-five path and then say, "Hey, we have double that or something like that," you know. <laughs> but we could, you know, we can keep with that right now. That can software conversion. Uh, really through Susan's office into oh the whole art yeah, and all that thing so yeah yeah that, that mm -hmm. really made things uh, uh, very difficult for her so yeah um, I know I've been struggling with that for a while yeah but uh, we seem to, we seem to have solved it okay by, by Herculean effort on Susan's part mm -hmm. How do you guys want to approach this? Do you want to go top down? Do you want to, does anybody have things we want to discuss specifically to throw out? Um, I don't know how we want to kind of approach this. Well, are there perhaps, areas that we feel are more critical than others? Those are kind of the three approaches I could think of. I remember last year we looked at pretty much focused on the debt exclusion and the levies because the other mm -hmm. categories, the funding source is already there, correct? Yeah, yeah. Enterprise fund, CPA, whatever. Mm -hmm. and so we do have available funds for most of those. It's just mm -hmm. deciding yes or no. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? Yeah. Versus yeah. these, where we're looking at borrowing. That exclusion starts getting into sticky territory. Mm -hmm. So let's just, let's just wait for Linda to come back with those revised sheets and then we'll maybe just start at the top and go down and then we can go through it that way, I think. That way we don't miss one. Yeah. So the debt exclusion, we're asking the town members to authorize borrow borrowing, essentially taking on more debt. And then in thereby increasing taxes. Above and beyond the two and a yeah, half percent, percent and levy mm -hmm. limit. And that's what the levy is, is the two and a half percent. Mm -hmm. so yeah. After a while, oh. you add up, this is 16 cents, that's 32 cents, that's 10 cents. Mm -hmm, right. Eventually, those cents add You're up. You're talking about real money. And, dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, and you do it every yeah. single time, yeah. twice yeah. a year, mm -hmm. and you do a little bit here, you know, at mm -hmm. one item, like, oh, I can do 16 cents, but every time, twice a year, it starts to feel like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. they add up. Oh, yeah. So, how much? Debt capacity was freed up this year from just normal amortization from the, within the levy. I think that's what she's saying, 250 to 3? Is that what I understood by that? Well, within the levy, how much debt capacity is uh, freed up? Oh, that's all. There we go. So, yeah. that's it. What have I got? On an annual? You got this. You got to pass it on. How much do we have this, this particular year? Can you state your question, please? Oh, how much? Uh, 
the levy capacity was freed up, Linda, this year by normal amortizations within the well within the levy limit. Because we do it by bands, I uh, we right now in in twenty we're paying one hundred seventy eight thousand. Uh, next year we'll be we're paying one hundred and eighty one, and then one hundred and eighty four, and then it drops to one fifty six. I do that because I keep um, I, I keep it front loaded. If we add more debt onto that, it spreads out a bit. So it's not as if that would increase those amounts, those early amounts that I've given you. They would stay there, and then the 156 from 2023 would would right. rise. And after right. that, it drops off suddenly. Um, so that's why I'm suggesting, for as a line item in the future, if we're able to increase that um, that line, it would be. I think an efficient way to to be handling a good uh, the basic amounts of our debts, not those larger items, but yeah. the ones that we don't need to spend that much time on. We just yeah. have to keep buying these capital items yeah. year after year. We have to replace the cruiser. We have to take care of some computers. There's some. Mm -hmm. We just need to keep turning it over without yeah. having to put so it all out. What'd you say? One seventy one for twenty. Um, twenty. Uh, the. Within the levy, I have 178. 178. Okay, right now. And then I've been, just like other budgets that rise each year, I've been, as I project ahead, I've been increasing it by 2%. Okay. Because, because otherwise it becomes a smaller amount each year. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's then 181, 184. Um, and the wild card, like you said, is when is actually going to hit because of the bands. It gets everything gets deferred off one or two. Yeah, where, when, weeks. when each particular item would hit, um, right. it depends on what the total is. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, ideally, we should be keeping the amount, new amounts that we put on each year within within the 185. But to for a couple of years to have it go and be 250, especially if we think perhaps we can make the budget meet that amount, that I don't think that's unreasonable. Mm -hmm. Especially, too, I should say, a lot of, you know, I have seen over over the few years that I've been doing this that these are usually generous amounts that they're saying. So if they'll, they'll put in $80,000 for something that they might come in at 72. So we don't always end up fully borrowing everything that's there. That's why I think to, to, uh, to vote on a bit more, probably we're not going to be meeting that fuller amount. Yeah. Okay. So I want to just start at the top, select board, unless you have any more questions regarding this. I don't want to cut you off, yeah. Um, so we have select board IT upgrades, 57.50, that was for, what was it, five, 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 six computers? Yeah. In town hall. That keeps us on track for the technology plan. Yeah, that's within the levy. <coughs> um, but we want to vote on each item we didn't last year. We didn't last year. I guess if it's in here, we're recommending it. If we take it off, we're not recommending it, essentially. And we do How do you feel about I, voting I, I, each I, item? I think we did one vote last year, if my memory's right. Was yeah. It done? So yeah, there was some split among some of the things. So your final vote was we agree upon this list, except for yeah. the oh. fill in the blank, where we were split 4-1 uh, or something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I'm curious how do these numbers compare to previous years? He asks. I see that you know they're, we're always asking a little more, but is this a consistent? Is this the ballpark? Uh, within the levy, it. Yeah. Um, the cruisers, yeah, actually, and some yes, of the stuff. Some of it's in. yeah, but then they it's had creeping some, up. We, yeah, we had the town. Yeah, I, I'd say we a were bit on the high side. Mm -hmm. We were close. Mm -hmm. what, yeah, we, we have, um, we did, because we went out to a bond this year, some of the things that we had, now when you borrow in the band, within the band, which is the short-term borrowing, it has to be paid off in a fewer number of years. When you put it in the bond, it can go out further. So something like the HVAC, you can borrow that over 20 years, um, the purchase of the land in North Hadley. So we had those being paid off quickly for a few years. Um, so we spent four hundred thousand dollars on the on the town property mm -hmm. up in North Hadley. Um, both of the HVACs were in there. Uh, one one was a debt exclusion. Now the hundred seventy thousand dollar one was within the levy. Those were really large items that we had in here last year. 
So it probably that column was quite high. I mean, I can get it, but I know it was quite high. The smaller things do compare. Mm -hmm. It's these larger items um, that, that um, those two went in because they were both time sensitive. <coughs> that 170 was the extra amount that the school needed to finish that project. But then when we went out, when we uh, um, took the bond out in July, both of those items got put into the bond. So mm -hmm. they are being paid out whether the letter is within the bond over 20 years. So the actual amount, uh, that freed up capacity within the shorter term borrowing. Mm -hmm. And I think in general the capital plan is showing more routine predicted planned uh, purchases and replacements rather rather than when we first started this project, it was trying to play catch up. Crisis um, management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crisis management. Uh, oh. yeah. We're all beeping and buzzing, huh? That is so true. Yeah. yeah. Let's get some air going in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody can say Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get someone. Thanks. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to tell someone to come. Let's see. We'll be done in an hour. Right? Or maybe not. I'm going to get the thing. <laughs> all right. <laughs> need to have someone pick up the kids. They're all on their way back okay. from a soccer game. So IT upgrades, 5750 within the levy. To me, that seems like a good place for it. I'll keep pushing forward. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's an item that it's a recurring kind of capital expense. And you know, every few years we probably need to replace our computers. So I say that's good. Unless anybody has the has other anything else to say. Cruiser okay? Cruiser. Mm -hmm. With fifty eight. Right? I think that same argument, you know, that's something we're just on that track of replacing it. That's a good thing to have within the levy. Hi. Replace those cruisers as we <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be an it's an annual item. Yeah, it basically is an annual item. And this just puts it in the budget. Yeah. It's just yeah, exactly. The body and cruiser cameras. Sorry. I, I don't know where you guys are at with that. I feel like that's a really great purchase. I don't know if that's something that we should put in the levy because it's kind of like a what this is like a catch up item. A little bit. We got the grant for the body cameras, but not for the cruiser cameras. Do we keep if we have to take 250 down to 178? That's 36. Is that something we move over into debt exclusion as opposed to keeping it within the levy? I, Chris, when you say I might have not said something correctly. When you said it's it down, take it down to 178. Oh, okay. We don't have to go down to 178. No, 178 thousand that's in the budget is what we're spending on our prior borrowing. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So we can take yeah. it up to 254. That you keeps know. us within the percentage. Okay, right. I, I okay. misunderstood what you're saying. Yeah, I yeah, I got you. Okay, so we could keep that there because 250 is our budget for borrowing within the levy. Okay. So what do you guys think about the body cameras? Or the cruiser? Well, it's just cameras? the cruiser cameras because they got the body cameras. Yeah, they got the body cameras. It's just the cruiser cameras. Good idea. Yeah, fifty cents gets you a buck. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this need to be matching? Is no, it matching. No, it's already matching it's in the state budget. Be. Yeah, yeah, that one's yeah. in the budget for the body cameras. And these will be transferable, if I remember, right, into mm -hmm. a newer cruiser mm -hmm. because it's set up for the newer style and cruisers. It, it does kind of. I mean, it does complete their whole system of having the body cameras, cruiser cameras, works on their way to get accreditation accreditation for the police department. So for liability reasons too. Yeah. Okay. So what do you guys think? Anybody what do you think? I'm for this. Okay. So let's keep that there. Unless anybody wants to take it, move it. Okay. No, I think it's here. So you le you left it under the levy, right? Within the levy, yeah. Within yep. the levy. Yep, right okay. where it is. Yep. Right where it is. Perfect. I thought, I, I, yeah, I was misinterpreting what we had to do before, so, but I got it now. Uh, and then training ammunition and parts, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't see any reason to take that out. But that's, that like again, a necessary item. They do, this has been expected, so. Mm -hmm. Required. And required, yeah, so. 
Reasonable. Um, all right, fire OSHA capital upgrades. Again, that's one of those unfunded mandates that we need to fund. So is it that, seems is that like a logical is spot. Is something we can borrow for? Um, in what way? I mean, the levy is the borrowing. You mean do the debt exclusion for? No, it's it uh, authorized to borrow state law for borrowing. How else would? What is it exactly? Now here's I don't know what the upgrades are. Oh, that's right. This is the washing machine. Okay, yeah. Okay. So sure. Okay. Yeah. Department, right. of, department of Department yeah. 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 of yeah. I missed that. Per I was okay. not here that night. I'm sorry, I'm getting my head in the wrong place. And I guess out of out of if I had just if I had to let one thing go, out of all these, I mean the only one I could see is seeing well. I'm like washing machines. They're going to do a new washing machine. They're going to do that big one in the new North Hadley, the North Hadley substation. Yeah, it would be nice to have two, but oh, you need two. Is. And if you could, you know, you have one, yes, it makes a lot of noise, but can we wait to the, get the other one? And the police work and they figure out a way to get their stuff done. I'm just saying if we have to push one thing, that would be the one. I, that would be one thing. That would, that would, it, so it, down below, it, you know, I say, okay, if we don't, if we can do it, do it. But if we have to push one thing, that would be. Was that the only? I'll put a little check in front of it. Yeah, what is, what is that in? Revisit. Police department list. It was under the fire department fire. list. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm just wondering if I have, that's the school. I, have fire. I just want to I just want to look back real quick and see what that was all together. Am I right? That's what it what is just for washing machines. That's what I was just looking. See, it doesn't say that specifically. Well, that's what you talked about. All of fire chiefs assistant. Salary number, yeah. It doesn't, in his description here, it doesn't say exactly what it is, but that is what we talked about. I was just looking to see if there's more to it than that. Okay, well, fly it for now and we can move on. <clears throat> Public safety complex emergency generator. This, this we talked about last year and moved to this year. Seems like that's a necessary item. I, I think we kind of need to keep that on there yeah, because it's, I know that, you know. The other one's on its last leg. Yeah, yeah, they can get parts for it, all that stuff. And yeah, what happens if it goes? <laughs> that's our yeah, main public safety complex. And it does for both, it's under fire, but it really does both police and fire. It's not just yeah. fire. It's yeah, it be the whole, whole building, yeah. It, is there, is this a part of the new building so that, that we would then have two? I would think you would have two because wouldn't you need two? I mean, this it's not like one old, can go well, to the other one. The, the thing old. is, is that no. there's no, all our communications equipment, dispatch, everything, everything is not here. It's here. So could you having an emergency one generator you there, one. we don't have any kind of backup right. there. That would be a whole other capital project. Right. So, yeah. So unless, you know, the chief has a really full of extension cord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How can your house stay? Go ahead. Yeah. Welcome to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, so keep that there. All right. So I'm keeping that there. Keep yeah. that there. And we're going to keep it under debt exclusion? Don't have the ability. I think that's the, we got to keep okay. it there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Hydrant marking and steamer retrofit. Uh, that was one we wanted to see if we can move to water. Yeah. Is there any oh. conversation about that? Or? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. okay. Water, mean, that would be great if we can move that to water enterprise. Mm -hmm. I know some people might, but that seems like a, a good thing. It's water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fire protection. Uh, Hearst vehicle extrication equipment. Jaws that, of life. That's the jaws, jaws of, of life, life and the pillows. The new one. And the pillows. The inflatable yeah. pillows. pillows. The inflate the pillows that lift them up. Lift like them up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they have them, but they're expired now. I mean, it, 
do we want to keep that in debt exclusion or would we swap the capital upgrades and the this thing between levy and debt exclusion? Especially since you took 11 out, you certainly could. I'd rather see that in the levy um, because it's, I think that's a very important item. And it seems more... And if anything, I'd rather not risk that and risk the washing machines. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way as can we... Because that's something that they have no backup. Right. That's and that's huge. At least with the washing machines, they've got a backup. And there's a lot yeah. of accidents. On the they respond to a lot of accidents. Yeah. yeah. They do. So... You want to do that for right now? Sure. Move that over. I would like to. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. do that. Okay. We'll move that one over, Linda. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It looks like it's yellow, anyways. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, that was under consider. Yeah. That, that under consideration. Yeah. Under, yeah. Okay. That's exactly right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Now DPW Highway. Got a lot here. So, first one is the International 7600 dump truck. Gonna wait on that. <laughs> yeah, I, if I if I have my I, thoughts on that, I would vote no on that. That's just my personal thoughts. I feel that when I ask the questions, how often do you use it? What is it being used for? I feel that that's something you can put off down the road. I feel like the people are more important. I, like if we're going to be putting money to DPW, yeah, I feel like uh, put it in in for the people for to replace the trailers rather than that. That's for hauling sand, you know. Just off the top of my head, I was thinking of like uh, you know Matt Jolly Trucking has this huge truck. I mean, why you know hire him to do to move the sand or something, you know, hire out for for the purposes of that as a short period of time. Yeah. That's, that's just my thoughts. Because it's a lot of money for a truck. You know, it's huge. 250 So should we shift that to be considered again for 21? 21. Yeah, I was just looking at the numbers here for 22. Because, I mean, we have, like, they're looking for... I think you're going to put that one off for a while. Just because, of, really, because you're looking at that big... They're, they're looking at millions of dollars. And then they need to figure out the housing and what's being housed where and what they're covering and, you know, the whole thing. They should, you know, make sure that we, before we take on, if, if before we take on more equipment yeah, or take big equipment, it. make sure we have a house for the big equipment. Because to take on big equipment and then not store it properly, it doesn't last. Yeah. Yeah, I see. We okay. need to push back on that and push it out too. I, I, I do agree with you is they're asking for a lot. DPW, they got a lot this spring at the annual town meeting. This is one more thing. It's it's a lot. And I don't think people are gonna wanna spend this kind of money on another truck. A big truck. Um, and I do try to argue, well, if people want to vote for it, then let's put it on there. But I don't know. I feel like we're asking for a lot. <laughs> and we're going to be cut. And sometimes people just vote for things because it's on the ballot and they think we I, need it. But. I, I really think we ought to do what's what we feel is the, not just to put it on there, but I think we should put it on what we feel is, a, yeah. is good spending for yeah. the town. Yeah. This spring, um, there were four four new items in yeah. the spring for uh, DPW: um, the skid steer, the hot box unit, mini excavator, and uh, ditches yeah. were a hundred thousand. The other three items added up to one hundred and sixty-five thousand. So yeah. some, something has happened. Yes, yeah, so we spent two hundred sixty-five thousand. Yeah, and the reason we were doing it in the spring is to allow things to happen over the summer mm -hmm. recently for them. So, so you all understand postponed in twenty twenty-one. 2022 or beyond. 20, I mean, just looking 22. at the expenses, it lo looks like yeah, 2022 is probably better timing than. Mm -hmm. Unless he wants to move some of his 21 items into 22 or something. So. Yeah, it just seems like the uh, Vactor truck is a really big purchase mm -hmm. that's coming up. That's mm -hmm. 
a lot of burden on this. Budget. Well, he might like this. The deep, he, he knows this stuff better than we do. So mm -hmm. I say, let's just say not that we're we unable to do it now and then let him relook at his future yeah. and figure out what's his priorities. Yeah. Maybe the Vactor truck is a priority. Maybe this truck is a priority. Yeah. I mean, I just think we should just say, nope, can't do it right now, and then let him try to see what's important. Okay, yep, let's do it. So let's cross that off. Unless anybody has any other words. Defer it, right? Defer it. Yeah. Yeah. Defer it for 2020, yeah. It, it will. When we redo the sheets, it'll appear again. Mm -hmm. Unless you say you don't want something at all, we'll, we'll find a way of moving it along. Now this double drum compactor, I think this is a little bit of a catch-22 issue because they, we did get the hot box, so they can put the asphalt down, but they can't roll it out, so they need this to roll out the asphalt. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. They have something, they have a little one, I think, now. Yeah. They have more than the little, don't they? Because right, they, how the did they do yeah. the, they did my whole street. Don't tell me they didn't have any roller. DPW did the whole, DPW didn't do the whole street. They I paid think, I think it was, it was contract probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think this is more for the potholes and, yeah. you know, the cleanup around town. <clears throat> how much is that thing? $60,000. Holy mackerel. Yeah. Let's get the lawn and garden, the uh, lawn. <laughs> now, how about DPW? Can't can they ever? Everything that they buy is always new. Cause like when I see the fire department, sometimes they said, "Okay, well we got this from this place, yeah, from UMass, and it was so. used, and mm -hmm. we took this one from Northampton used." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. can we do that with some of these, some of their especially things? something since especially it's well, not military. Fancy. We used to get a lot of stuff from the military. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of the military yeah, trucks down. They got rid of that program. Yeah, I know. I figured that. Yeah. It was more trouble than I was worth, probably. You know, I'm got rid of the program. <laughs> if I want to no, see I fancy agree, stuff. Yeah. I want to see a fancy cruiser, fancy bus, a, but fancy roller. <laughs> <laughs> Just get something that used. That you <laughs> Go to an auction. Get one. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? Can we can we ask him for what would a used one cost, or is it you know what do we? What do you think? <clears throat> you, you call it. Yeah. I don't think it's being heavily used. No, I mean... I mean, you know, yeah, you got a few bottles. Sure, right. Could they rent one out even? What are they using now? They don't Probably the little one they've got. At least one I think they've got a little one. Rent one out. There's nothing we can do to the bottles. Oh, so because, they got Yeah, one. it's just for sealing potholes yeah. in the spring, basically. It isn't like it's going to be heavily used. Yeah, pothole season. Yeah. And then you're so done. So DPW hasn't come in and made a case for their... They did. No, they did. They did, yeah. yeah. This is not compelling. Well, they need, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. they, I mean, all their stuff is, is there's a need for it. I mean, could they use it? Would it be easier? Makes everybody's life easier. Would it be better? Yeah, of course all this stuff would, but it's just. Brand new stuff is great. Rent. Yeah, it's just one of those things you Rent it out. We can't do that. Yeah. Well, what? They they I don't know. They're asking. What if we just no. <coughs> hold this one right now? Um, like the OSHA capital upgrades and kind of go through, come back. See what this. we got left. See what we got left. See where, see how comfortable we feel. Put a maybe in there. Put a maybe. Okay. Um, again, the mower, common, replace number 10. Now, does that relate to the piece of truck apart? This what kind of mower is that? And I don't know if that's, have you ever seen the mow the common? Mm -hmm. yes. I think it's that mower. Yeah. Game, that was my impression. Game it's no, it's like so. uh, it's no. like it's kind of like a little bit bigger of a residential lawnmower. It's got like a cab. And, oh yeah. 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 However, however, if we compare that mower to the gas pumps, which is the next item, yeah. I think the gas pumps are more operation critical than the mower, because that is something that is, you know, been talked about needing replacing for a while, is my impression, mm. and they haven't done it. Yeah. Do you want to switch and it could possibly be. No, like they're both in yellow. Does issue. that mean they're both going to be levy? No, I, it just means it was under consideration for being in levy. 
I'm going to move the gas pumps to the within levy and the bower without. I think, sure. that's, I think that's better. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I think we should also maybe check the mower and see if that's something, again, not to just cut, slash this apart, but how much mm. do we want to spend on all these things? So I'm going to start with a switch, and it's a switch, and it may be not. I don't know. That's kind of my yeah. feeling, but. Okay, so we're going to switch but, for now. Yeah, I wouldn't say maybe not. Uh, yes, but they have to do. Well, it's the face of the town. Uh, everybody knows it's common uh, if you're not maintaining it. Phone calls. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh, the mowers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I think. Yeah. But are the but gas pumps, pumps something that is, you know, yeah, possible yeah, environmental, yeah. environmental problem? Yeah. I would do <coughs> okay. I would do that. Okay. Chapter ninety. That's that's is what it is. We'd like that to be higher, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we'd like to get that money from the state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that's a reimbursal, reimbursable. Uh, West Street Commons study, that's CPA. I think that's a great thing. But that's not. That's not going. That's it not. CPA. We haven't done that yet. Did West anybody Street apply for it? He's going to apply for it in the end. Okay, so that's A. So okay. let's just put that. I guess that would go to 2021. But it would be under CPA. So it's not on the on the article on the you know, warrant. Correct. Yeah. So it's coming on. It's yeah. Trying to be deferred to annual time. To be deferred. Yeah. Okay. Still the same fiscal year. Uh, Dyke Phase Three certification. Okay. Let's do it. This one is tricky. We want to defer it and see what we get on the MVP, correct? How much do you think you could get out of that? I mean, if, if, at a yeah, best case scenario. 000. Oh. But it is something that's how time sensitive is it? I mean. Well, Amy pointed out that we do these studies and yeah. we don't. Uh, we, don't on the shelf. You know, we, we can certainly spend time thinking about how we can implement the uh, slope stability. Uh, <coughs> One. There's some recommendations there, and the MVP grant, which we're doing the planning portion right now. Mm -hmm. um, when we do the implementation, we can, we can apply for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, okay. So why don't we? Why don't if, we hey, we can get a grant. Yeah. So yeah. If we can't get a grant to do this. And it's not something we could easily yeah. bring this up next year if we don't get the grant, right? Yeah. And it's mean, not like the dike's gonna fall over, you know. <laughs> ask, ask New Orleans. Never mind. Let's take that back. <laughs> yeah. Rewind. I mean, we'll uh, check with New Orleans. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. The more critical thing I think is the DP. W facility. Uh, yeah. Yes. <coughs> now I meant to do it, David, and I didn't. You told me that there was a study done for DPW, oh, yeah. and I didn't get a chance to go in and All read right. it. Can you tell me what you know in the study? Like, if we fund some of it now, so first of all, I think that they need to have a plan. Like where the where they're gonna be, where, who's what they're housing, where's the wash uh, uh, bay gonna be, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see them even cover the school buses. Yeah. You know. So I agree that we that having a plan would probably be the best thing. Um, we have the we have a number of documents that we can draw from. There's a Dufresne and Henry uh, overview of the highway garage and with possible uh, new building there. That shows a lot of the underground utilities so you would have to pay attention to. What's there's, there? Yeah, there's the wastewater treatment plant capital plan, uh, which we've been working on steadily, but that'll show you more. There's the DRA report, which will give you an overview with budget figures for the uh, hybrid garage. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot to draw upon to start putting together 
real plan for the DPW. <coughs> and I think so they might need a little bit of money to get for someone to put all this together, taking mm -hmm. it from all these other sources yeah. and get putting it together, correct? Was that I what think. you were talking about was the twenty five okay. million that we already have? I, th I think that we can, that you get someone sort of in charge of the, this is the kind of project we want, and perhaps coming in with... Uh, a million and a half, yeah, we, not even close. Yeah. Before we went with the, with the big money, with the other buildings, there was something, you know, yeah. poster boards and pictures, yeah. and this is, the, this is where it's going to be and how it yeah. line up, lined up. I, I, I don't yeah. think we can go to town meeting and hand away of a DPW facility. I think we need no. a plan, and we need to yep. have something on paper, have something to show people. You know, it only have an idea and then have people. an actual cost. If we come to it and yeah, people are going to be like, "This project is." Well, when when you just throw numbers Ooh. out yeah. and it's not even, and then you then you go and you say, "Oh, I need this much more." Like, mm -hmm. didn't you do your homework the first mm -hmm. time? Yeah, yeah, right. exactly. I just think it puts it starts building negative feelings about it, and yeah. then it's going to be a real problem to get it going. So I'll I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure we we did that as a multi it's called a multi purpose building. building. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So how much do we want to fund a plan for? Well, let's I mean, see we, how much is in that article. Well, you don't have to fund it at all because we still have 25000 left in the prior article. Oh, okay. So, right. okay. Uh, unless uh, that you, should be enough. Yeah. It, it should because be enough. you have yeah. other plans. They just have to put it to, you know, so it's not like it's, you don't have material to work with. Right? Yeah, I, I don't see. I mean, I don't think uh, well, the others didn't use. I mean, it was funded at fifty, and they didn't use the fifty. So I'm mm -hmm. sure that this is not going to get used any more than yeah. it needs to be. It, it's just between now and probably annual town meeting, unless we're going to do it next fall um, to get this together for a vote. Yeah, I think I that's twenty-five thousand between now and next town meeting seems like a fair budget to be able to do something like right. this with. So yeah. all, all I need to do is uh, get it borrowed. Um, we didn't need it before, but we still have something like four, four or five hundred dollars left in that account from yeah uh, from the twenty five that I did borrow. Now, when we're putting it on the, the warrant, when we're talking about these kind of things, could could we show DPW facilities as twenty five thousand and then for funding put it in what you just said? I'd rather not take it off. Yeah, we're yeah. not taking it off. Isn't it over? And so we're going to leave it yeah. there, right? Right. Right. Okay. Just to make and that's sure, because we wanted to. Article means we have an article for it. Okay. And potentially. I just didn't want, I didn't know if you were going to remove it because we have an article for it. Okay. okay. Just when it comes to the funding source, it would be. Yeah. It's in the article, but I think it's something that if the town knows we're working towards that, <coughs> it's a good thing. Yeah. Move that. And then so, so when they do see us trying to um, build something there or take care of those trailers, yeah. they know because they said, oh, you just did some stuff for a plan last time. So, yeah, right. and, and what is that, that called? Like a conceptual design, or uh, what do we? What is it being called before anything? Feasibility, feasibility study. Okay, yeah. Okay. Preliminary something. Preliminary design. Is that what? what? Feasibility. I would I like feasibility yeah, study. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so just just to review DPW real quick, we got the International 7600 for saying, let's not do it this year, push it out. Uh, double drum compactor, we're leaving in debt exclusion right now. We're asking about... You said hold. We're kind of in a holding pattern on that. I have two and a half holds. We've got the mower, we're putting that in debt exclusion. Yeah. Gas pumps are moving that over to the levee. Yep. Uh, we got the map that's in water. We're not worried about that. Chapter 90, we're not worried about West Street Common. That's annual town meeting. Dyke phase three certification. We're kind of holding on that until we know more about the MVP. And then DPW facility, we're making a feasibility study. And we have a $25,000 existing article. Mm -hmm. That sound about right? I guess only the double drum compactor I'm a little vague on, but. So let's go, let's, at the very end, I think, you know, let's go through the rest of these articles yeah. and then just come right back up to two things. Right. We'll yeah, come back ones. up to the double drum compactor double drum and the yeah, OSHA. Yeah. And the OSHA, okay. Yeah, those are the we'll two. We'll come back to spots. those two. Okay, that's great. Okay, 
So DPW wastewater. We have sewer line assessment, $30,000 out of the enterprise fund. This is one we have been doing. Yeah, that's all um, That's okay. pretty standard. And uh, the same thing with the sewer lining and repairs. We didn't do anything last year, but two years ago we did a bunch. Yeah. When, when Marlo was here, I remember mm -hmm. we did a bunch of inspection and linings. Um, and then we have expansion of capacity study. $50,000 study. And this was looking at the expansion of the wastewater plant or what what to do with that. Because right now we're at 85% capacity. Can you borrow that out of uh, sewer? Well, I guess that's against the recommendation of the financial management team. The financial management team said any future yeah. Sewer borrowing should be out of the levy for the debt exclusion uh, because we don't have the wherewithal within the sewer budget. Yeah. Well, they said they said what debt service. I I agree with what you well, said, but they said that regarding the sewer reserves. This is the sewer impact, not sewer reserves, right? Is that different? The only thing that's on sewer reserves is that assessment, the thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. So, um, but this also is, uh, you know, there's always that argument at town meeting about expansion of, or about sewer, and if we're looking at expansion of capacity, that does affect more than just the current sewer users. That would affect the whole town. So, wouldn't this come out of the tax rate instead of out of those sewer? If this fees? money is borrowed, shouldn't it, shouldn't the sewer rates be adjusted enough so that the revenues come in to meet the debt service? Um, as we should be doing with an enterprise fund. And so we t the, the sewer impact account, that had how much in it? Do you remember how much that had in it? Uh, what was it, 170,000? It's more than that. Um, it's over 200,000. I thought it was know, 250, I, I was that. thinking. Yeah. And do, didn't we talk about yeah. taking the money out of the impact to pay the down the debt to make yeah, it so? so you're going to take 130 out of that. So there might not be 250 so. in that fund to take it out of there. But it does, we may get new fees in, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we can pre-spend. Do I mean, can you vote on no, something and wait for the money to come in? So uh -huh. no, we can only pay what we're going into town meeting with. That's a good way to hit our free cash. Yeah. yeah, okay, so I actually don't have that amount, but. Um. I mean, to me, this is an important thing to do, but the funding capacity. I mean, is it important to do now, or is it not important? And then how do we work the funding? So do you want to leave it to them that you support it being debt exclusion unless we can find the cash to pay for it? Yeah, I guess that's the question. How do we feel yeah, that it's important? borrow the money, there should be revenues coming in from the sewer right. usage fees to cover this. Yeah, that's my feeling about I agree with you, but the, the, the what's what's our sewer is coming up at town meeting for, you know, there's the, the to-do about sewer at town meeting. We're, tr we're, what are we doing? Transferring money from sewer impact to cover debt? Yeah, $130,000. But still, we don't have a long-term strategy to keep sewer going. There's long-term strategy. The only one that's going to work is to raise rates. And right well, now, the select board has voted right. against yeah, raising rates. To pay yeah. so. But this is the way we have to face the facts. It is an enterprise fund. Yeah. Well, can I ask why this? Why the select board voted against raising rates? Mm. Since it, my understanding is that they haven't raised no, rates. Ask me. I voted for raising rates. Oh, you did? Yeah, raising so, rates. I mean, yeah, just by my understanding, 10 years that, that since they yeah. raised cash the rates. There's a cash flow deficit and they're yeah, voting yeah, yeah. against raising the rates. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just. I, okay. I did, did, do you have any good argument for why that's. What was the. I think, I think the select board. Trying to. The select board decided that they, what they would like to do is they would like to explore as many options as possible and save rate increases for the very last when all other mm -hmm. efficiencies and cost savings and cost reductions and cost avoidance have been identified and implemented. Yes, but all we have right now is transferring from sewer impact to cover debt. 
We don't have anything else. Otherwise, the general Do taxes are subsidizing this department. Yeah. Do we have anything else besides uh, that? That's all I'm aware of. That's all I'm aware of, too. Now, I know that Chris is working on a reorganization of, of sorts. So there mm -hmm. some Might be some savings there. Yeah, yeah. Are okay. you doing automatically changing the, the uh, levels adjustment? Remember we talked about that? We talked about that. We have not, that, that got, that did not, nothing got changed there. <laughs> it's still at the same levels. We talked about going to, I think, four tiers instead of two. But, but what happened was, is when they went, when they went, yeah, yeah, ahead. when they went back, yeah. when they changed the billing cycle, it went backwards instead of staying the same. Yeah. Instead of cutting it in half. So everyone got a rate decrease, basically. Right. So why can't that just automatically be fixed? Back to how it used oh, to be. Oh yeah, yeah, that 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 item. Yeah, yeah. the tiers where you cross. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Things. That was. I know what you mean. It was never adjusted. Yeah. No, we didn't do that. We should propose. I guess we can propose that. Does it even have to be, place. or can it just say is as a is a error and we should have fixed it? Should have yeah. Corrected as soon as you went quarterly, actually. Yeah. You have to go through the usual process of changing fee structure. It should okay. be a public hearing. Okay. So are we in agreement that this is a debt exclusion yeah. item unless I can find the cash for it? We're talking about the fifty thousand? Fifty thousand, yeah. Is it debt exclusion or are we putting it off? What can can we I don't remember what it said I, what Chris said about um, the study. I just have a, a few questions regarding this study. It's Expansion of capacity study. Oh, okay, that's because. Did he be right? Because we're. Yeah. Okay, no, I, I, I guess we need it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. the thing. I think we actually need it. All right. I guess we got to move it then if yeah. we can't pay for it. Or maybe we can. Pay. See, yeah. Well, if, if you the can't. If money were borrowed and the debt service were made from additional. A rate increase, it wouldn't be as severe as paying for the whole thing all up front at once because you had X number of years to pay this off. Mm -hmm. So the rate increase could be tempered too, if that makes any sense. Because you're subject to peer review. Like, what, what, where, where do you start? Now, if you're going to pay for this all at once, mm -hmm. this $50,000 out of sewer revenues, which we don't have anyway, yeah. that would be quite a jolt to the sewer rates versus borrowing the money where you're stretching that out over how many years, or 10 years or whatever. So it'll be 10% per year. Yeah. Can, can that be combined with that, the assessment and then you $80,000 right now? I, I am, exactly. Yeah. Yes, I, I agree that so it's, that it'll really be less than So really temper the increase, which should happen. Mm -hmm. So we could still borrow, you're, you're suggesting borrow and pay out of sewer reserves mm -hmm. as an alter, as a and that's it, what, the when exists. I was a treasurer, we used to do that in <laughs> oh, yeah. Greenfield. You know, we had enterprise funds and we yeah. borrow for the sewers, but we had that money coming in yeah, from yeah. the sewer rates. So it's instead, of doing it, the debt instead of doing the debt, debt exclusion, exclusion um, the taxpayer, it, the debt exclusion, it's almost as the, well, the, cus the customer the is the sewer instead of you raise the, the taxpayer. Rate. Right. It doesn't raise go to rate. ballot. Oh, it doesn't go to ballot? No, because no. that's an enterprise fund. So right. You ah. It's an enterprise fund, so you wouldn't Same as within the levy, it's within the... I like that. I think we should do that. I like that. That's well, more, if we can. Can we, how does that compare then with these 30,000 uh, that is coming out of the, I mean, could both be treated that way? I mean, I think the sewer line assessment is, that's yearly, so we don't want to borrow. Okay. Um, but like oh, the that's every expansion okay. study and the seal coating of plant. The seal so why isn't that just in the budget then? The thirty thousand, if it's coming out of because they want it out of reserves and not out of operations. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, out of so. impact. Well, no, I reserves. Guess reserves. Yeah, want that study, but then the actual repairs out of the impact. Is it with the two fifty? Yeah. 250, but we decided we don't have 250 or two, you're taking 130 out. <laughs> well, what do we have there? Um, I, I Maybe we should that. just reduce the 250 to whatever we have. That's a good idea. Yeah. 
if it's not a two hundred fifty thousand dollar contract we're going out for, and, and it's just something of funding no, that, as we go. No, that numbers of the sewer lining and repairs that two hundred fifty thousand is okay. So that why that much up we could do up to that amount of repairs after we do the in, the camera inspection. All right. So they should net that against our current balance and the suggested move amount to move over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Net it out. I could do that. So. We're reducing the 250000 by whatever's left after we've done these other things. Sewer, and you're going to take it out of sewer impact? Take it out of sewer impact, but it won't be 250 It'll be yeah. closer to 100 But 100 is 100 Yeah. We get 120 just uh, back yeah. to the envelope. Yeah. Yeah. Starting with 250 yes. Okay. Okay. Now, and then the expansion of the capacity, the, the capacity study, that 50000 you're going to... We're going to do a debt exclusion, but the debt exclusion against the sewer. Borrow from sewer. Borrow from sewer. Okay. So okay. that's not a debt exclusion. So it's, it's, it, no, it's not. Yeah, it's a it's a borrowing within, yeah. A borrow from the enterprise fund? So yeah, from uh, special, we don't have a line for that. Special, I don't. It's I'll called special it, revenue. I'll put it in that uh, column and put words next to it. <laughs> okay. That is going to be a borrowing. Okay. I don't know how else to do that. So. Okay. I'll move that. Okay. DPW water. You got the. Oh, how about, about the seal code? Oh, seal code of plant. I thought we were moving them both over. Okay. Yes. Oh, are so you? Oh, you, you seal code of plant. I thought that. I. I th sorry. It's okay. I'm skipping just, ahead because I want to go. But uh, <laughs> I just, I don't expansion of capacity study. I'm just being honest. Uh, expansion of capacity study. We got that. That's going to go borrow from from sewer. Seal code of plant. Then. That's thirty thousand, and I was skipping ahead because I thought, oh, we can borrow that from sewer too. But let's talk about it. So, this is something kind of like a long-term maintenance item that just hasn't been done, and it sounds like this is a requirement of the EPA. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is something that they have to do. Right. And we don't have money in sewer impact. We don't this. have money in sewer reserves either. And we don't have money in zero reserves. So, so I like the borrow idea. Yeah. Does that sound good? I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. DPW water. We got the hydrant and valve replacement. That's coming out of water reserve reserves. Callahan well filter replacement, water reserves. Valve replacement out of water reserves. And water take fencing also out of water reserves is th there was one more we wanted to add right yeah it's up above it's the 11,000 for the hydrant. well that right. one but then wasn't there someone the Callahan well oh. um, pumping or re Doing that's a the, study up on Mount Warner yeah is that 60,000 isn't is that that's here? not here yeah it's not here Yeah, this is something that the select board talked about at their last meeting. It's, uh, the oh, yeah. There's one That's study right. up at uh, uh, Mount Warner. Or there are two reconditioning items. That's different. Calvin? Yeah, that would be different. Okay. Yeah, that one didn't get. So you want a new item altogether? Yeah, well, it's a new item. Okay. How much was it? Here? Yeah. 60000 well, I, you know, I, I'm thinking if it's we... It's from the Enterprise uh, Front, the 60000 Yeah. We have another. Another. And we if we don't, million. maybe we look at... We have a million dollars in water reserves. So what are we oh. calling it? The Callahan no. well study? Not the, not study? the uh, Mount, Warner study. Mount Warner well. Well field study. And wasn't it something where... What? Well field? Well field. It was something where if... Was it if we work, if it works? If you tested the water and it didn't, wasn't good, they're not going to use the money. There Is that my four, There are that four was, wells there. Yeah. Two of them are contaminated with chloride. Yeah. All right. Um, the other two have um, high manganese. Mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise are usable. Uh, 
can we reconstitute uh, the central questions? What are we going to do about that wealth field? Mm -hmm. um, can we redo it so that we're treating both the manganese and the perchlorate? Mm -hmm. um, that's what the study would tell us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that would come out of water reserves? Yeah. So all these. So all these items are, we have the money, quote, you know, for them. It's just a matter of if we want to proceed with all these things. And for, you know, if we have them, I think that that study is probably a pretty good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the water. But if if this account, you know, the water starts getting low and, and, and we need to do the same thing, maybe that is something that they, we look at doing is borrowing against the water. For a larger same. project, yeah. But there's a million in there right now, but David. Oh yeah. So, so if we, we got add it. in another sixty, we have two sixty-six. So we are, you know, taking a quarter of that out, that million out, for these projects. For two four. Yeah. Two four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a quarter of a mil. Okay. I, think okay. it's, I think it's a worthwhile investment because if you don't do something in that well field, at some point DEP will come in and shut it down and then you'll never be able to work it back up again. Mm -hmm. So, worth, and, worth doing. And they give us our money back if it doesn't work. So, it seems positive. Mm. Unless that's not true. <coughs> I've, never heard of, I've, never heard I've never heard of that. Yeah, I've never heard of anybody giving any money back. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> seem right to me. But it is worthwhile. I mean, that way we know what the if we can use those or not, and what we have to do in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Replace water main at Bay Road Bridge. When's that project starting? That's not starting for a couple of years. Yeah. So, uh, I'm not sure that we're ready for prime time on that one. Yeah. Where do you want to move it to? 22? Yeah. 21. 21. 21, 21. yeah. 21, that's good. Okay, F-350, got a truck, replacing a 2014. truck um, and okay. do they share with DPW these trucks or do they have spent when they with the trucks is this one only for water and this one's only for DPW mm -hmm. they can't yellow trucks are highway blue trucks are water and red trucks are oh. sewer except for the housing authority one's got a red one. but do they have different purposes with different <laughs> things on them that's why they have to have different trucks or are they just a dump I think so. just I... a regular sized truck I know the water truck I've seen is in a dump truck, like the, um, the, the highway ones, it usually has like a, you know, box like with cabinets and all that kind of stuff on it, for lack of a better word. Okay. So they can, they have like all their stuff in there, but I don't know what this one is in particular. You know, I don't know this specific truck. What does W1 2014 mean? That's probably the serial on the truck I'm guessing. Oh not the year that we got to. I'm guessing it's probably a 2014, but I am guessing. Just based on the number. Five years. S six years old. Six years old? Yeah. That we're replacing a six year old or you think we're getting six Oh we're replacing oh. we're replacing oh. a six yeah. year old. And they want ninety thousand dollars to replace three fifty, that's damn expensive. Yeah. yeah. Special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that truck. We don't have a narrative really to go along with it. Well, I mean, <laughs> and, and, and I mean, once in a while, like some projects I see we could put in borrowing, but if that's really what they want, then I say let's move that back over to water and let them if, do the borrowing, but let them borrow for it in water. I agree. Yeah, why do why do I that under the tax rate? Okay, borrow de and debt exclusion under borrow the tax rate. Borrow and pay from if it's something water. that's that important. Unless yeah. they want to. 
Okay. Maybe they can put it off, but if it's not, if it's if they feel like it's really that important to them. <clears throat> yeah. I think that's good. I mean, if we have a quarter, you know, a million dollars in that, we can afford to either pay it out of there or okay. do a loan out of there, and then that becomes like a regular maintenance okay. replace. Okay. Uh, DP, so we're good with water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, DPW buildings, we got town hall locks and installation, and then town hall cameras and security. I personally feel that locks and installation is would be a very good thing for town hall. I think it would. Um, just to keep track of who's coming, who's going, security. I mean, we do have keys, but you know, who's got a set of the keys and who's, who can come in and out. That little fob school? That, that's what this system would be, like a, a fob system, I believe, is what he was proposing. Some kind of, oh, you know, not, not a, key. a card or a... Oh, something you Something yeah. where you would get a card and then there would be an administrator and that person could see who's coming, who's yes. going, you know. One of these, Chris. If I shut have... people out, yeah, if they're not allowed. Or well, if they terminate their employment. Or, sure, yeah, uh, yeah, you're on a board and then you're off, right. however it is, yeah. Certain people can only go into certain offices. I don't know if it was down to the office level or not, but at least for coming in and out. Mm -hmm. Do you have any more details on that, David? So it would just be for the out exterior doors, nothing inside? Them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If there are like security, yeah, I didn't think it would be. Yeah. yeah, otherwise we're still walking around with the keys. We yeah. can still get in. Yeah, to yeah. The that's offices. True. I mean, if you come in for a select board meeting and you go into another office downstairs with your own key. Yeah, yeah. So. I imagine yeah. that encompasses it all. I would think. Yeah. Would yeah. Yeah, maybe it does. Yeah, I would think because I, I when I go level. in, I uh, my fob works for. You know, at the main office, my fob works for the doors, but it doesn't work between behind Linux. teller lines right. or maybe in your area. It might not work because there's no reason for me to be there. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. So I do Plus have that. Plus they track and they have records of who went and what, yeah. at what time. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's the thing. That's where if anything ever happened, they say, well, you know, Paul was in there at a certain yeah. time. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So I like the idea. Of the um, and it's not overwhelming um, the 20,000 and it's within the levy yeah um, the 20,006 I would I would probably say yay for that mm -hmm. and um, I would probably push off the cameras and security if anything I feel like put the 50,000 I'd rather see cameras and security 50,000 if you were putting that under the school I would vote right, right away for it yeah but we did just do 98,000 was it but yeah, but there that. was a lot of different things with that, not just yeah. the cameras. I mm -hmm. think there was there was yeah. intercom, all so kinds of stuff. But I mean, you can't have security. enough <laughs> cameras there, at yeah. the school. I, d I questioned how, how why that was so expensive. That seems very expensive to 50? me for okay. cameras. I don't know what that costs. I just see the you know ones that you can get for your house security system. And it's not nearly that expensive. A couple you know? hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. See your phone. Yeah, yeah, all that, that kind of stuff. I don't. Do we need something this complex? Are there cheaper options out there? Seems like it'd be more secure than the bank. Probably. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you want to bump that to next year and get started with the keys and locks this the locks this year, and talk about it. Yeah, and maybe maybe year? get some. More information. More info information. and maybe yeah. more collaboration with the police department. Because, I mean, we have 24-hour dispatch over there. How hard is it to have another camera, camera there. system there that is recording town hall? And then, I mean, they're the ones that are going to get called yeah. if something yeah. happens. I also didn't know when I was looking at the two of them, because I've split them up because I put the smaller one over on Levy. But it was this, what, did they go together, David? You know, is this part of the... I haven't seen system. any uh, okay. specifics. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's leave it like that for now and yeah. uh, opportunity to follow up. Okay. And park and Recreation yeah. Spring Park. That, that We didn't do anything there, right? CPA? That there's been nothing they're, on they're, that. They're yeah. Do they? Okay. Is, is that still in? Maybe? No, it's not, not applied for. Yeah. Okay. So we're, I'll bump it to 2021. Yeah. 
Not, yeah. Yeah, we, we don't, yeah, we can't completely scratch anything without knowing the whole story, but we can move it a year very easily. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, school. Bus. <laughs> Passenger bus. That'll be a big one. That'll be for that price. <laughs> yeah. Although, you know, you know, at least that carries a busload of kids around. It's F three fifty. It's a two thousand and six that's being replaced, unreliable, expensive. Uh, we'd like to get all the buses on a ten year replacement. This is thirteen years old. Uh, currently not operational would cost over fifteen grand to repair. So we have to contract it out. Okay. Uh, we're replacing a forty seven passenger with a fifty six passenger. So it allows us to do field trips, which cost less than overall. So we don't have pay to contract out for field trips. Do you know what the ridership numbers are on the buses? Like how many kids are on a bus at on the routes? So, that's a good question. Just we, Amy brought that up last week, and yeah. I think that's a good question just to know. Especially yeah. the bigger bus. Are, is it you know are they full? Are they? I had 20, to go when I drop off. I see a lot of kids getting off the bus. But yeah, me too. You know, it all depends. Yeah. Elementary, it's high. High school, it's low. Yeah. Uh, licenses kick in, and yeah, I'd see my kids getting if they're on a bus. But when they're in high school, there's hardly anybody on the bus yeah. at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. The elementary buses are loaded. Yeah. 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 So anyway, yeah. yeah. If you know. But but on that issue, what do we think? Uh, new bus for the, yeah. for the school. You have to do it. Yeah. yeah, I think we got to put Safety. it on there. Safety yep. of kids. We're not even using a Probably bus right now. Probably more fuel efficient yep. too, I would yeah. presume. Yeah. yeah. So we don't I did make a pitch for an electric bus. Do we have yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. yeah. We got to get that. Get two. Get two. You got a two for one deal? Yeah. 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 What did you say? Yeah. So we have three being replaced in um ten, in the ten year schedule. Is that, are, are there still buses that belong to another company? Yep. Okay. We still so how contract. many do we own at a time? Two, three? Three. three. Mm -hmm. Which is, yeah. We asked this last time. I thought, yeah, probably I thought you said three. Okay, yeah, three that's days. the meaning of this. Two small? Sorry. Yeah, the meaning is, yeah. Right here. Okay, so all three of them are in the in the 10 year schedule. That's what I was checking. Yeah. And two 80s. Okay, so let's keep that in debt exclusion for right now. So Paul, like every three years we get this if it's on a ten year life cycle. Buses, yeah. Okay. I don't know that's I am asking, let me get the schematic of what that all looks like. How, what's the ridership? What's our timeline for replacement? Mm -hmm. We got resurfacing the parking lot. Talked about that one. That's not the whole parking lot. It's just the road from yeah, Hopkins up to yeah. the Russell yeah, School. Just, right? the yeah. just the coating too. They're not going to rebuild it. Okay. Yeah. But it's bad. Yeah. I think it's terrible. Yeah. 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 And that That's gets used right for right. the bus squad there too. Everything. Just yeah. going right over. Yeah. 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 Right. Half an inch. Yeah. 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 And then the uh, locker room and unit events. We're kind of putting those off right now. Right. But how do we want to pitch this? to do a debt exclusion ballot vote in April for the town meeting where we then vote on it. I think that's the the catch with this one. It's an experiment. So without, what, was, what did you all talk about earlier today that we would mention in the town meeting, I'd get up or Andy would get up and we'd say, here's, it was on the ballot, we took it off, here's why, and then by December we'll know those MSBA numbers. So we're kind of doing a debt exclusion on a maximum of, let's say, 1.5 million, 1.6 million mm -hmm. for the two projects, mm -hmm. but, but we're, we're going trying. to try to get it down. Yeah, I think the hope is, and last time I think we did MSBA, we got 49 cents on the dollar, but um, I'm not sure if that'll be that high again this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, are, are we going to withdraw it so we won't actually be seeking that exclusion? But we would we still have to do debt exclusion for about fifty percent. Let's say it would be a range, so it'd be between eight hundred thousand right. if we got the grant and one point six million if we didn't. Right, right. But then people that wouldn't seal the deal it would just mean at town meeting we vote yes or no on them. At the spring time. At the spring, spring time. Meeting. Annual town meeting. So we'd come back and then we'd have accurate numbers. So when we yeah, so we'd no. say, Okay, this is the debt exclusion range. 
but right. in, in the spring we come back, we vote on it, and we'll have, right. okay, You'd have an answer. it's actually a million or whatever exactly. it turns out to be. That would be the plan. You know, I mean, grant numbers by them. So we're not getting rid of it. January, 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 January. January. And I think we have to keep it in there, but with this notation. It has somehow. to stay on the warrant yeah. if you yeah. want to talk about it. Yeah. I think that's yeah. a good idea, rather than yank it off the warrant. Yeah, so I don't think we should pull it. the open door. Thank you. Yeah. And I think we need all these things on there as much as we don't, you know, might not want to take something like this to town meeting, but I think we need these things for the schools, and people still seem want to support the schools. So. Uh, it probably needs to just be on there, unless anybody wants otherwise. Amy, are you calculating I'm, something? I'm, I'm, I'm going. No, no, you, you can keep going. Okay. I'm okay with what you know with the um, with that, and I'm just going to see how much money we have left. I need oh, okay, two hundred and fifty because yeah, yeah. we move things back and forth. Yeah, yeah, we're moving <laughs> stuff all over. Thank you. So <laughs> on the fly calculation. Yeah. Okay, technology upgrades at the schools. We got the 63.3. This is this is also like kind of a recurring okay. item, correct? It is. Yeah, just yeah, to kind of keep everything up to date. Yeah. yeah. Is that the best place to put it? I'm, I'm, I was hoping that we could move that over. Move it over, But yeah. I don't know if Over to what? To the, it, within the levy? Yeah. It would be nice to have it there. In 17, all right. It's, um, they vary so much. I see it's in every year, but it varies so much. 63 this year, 38 the next, then 50, then 16. Um, yeah, that bring us over. Uh, I put 250 in, and I am now over by 48,000 if I moved that number over. That number over. Because I took out the 25,000 for OSHA. Well, we're not done. Yeah. We got, oh yeah, we have more down. There. No, no, no. I added those. I because those are smaller. I put those in. If you were to put those smaller okay. ones in, so could you do? Yeah, but could we do thirty, forty? Do you know? Uh, I mean, what you cutting? Yeah, I think we'll, there's some things here that are obsolete servers um, that need to happen. But then it's more just replacing older, outdated Chromebooks. Just moves it from yeah. It just moves it from that exclusion within the levy, which would be much more. Yeah. Okay. Well, but I mean, we could move some things around. Let's see if we could possibly see what we can do to get that over in basement windows. I mean, it's only seven thousand, but basement windows downstairs. Have you ever replaced the basement windows for the town hall? Right? No. I'm thinking. Yeah. So, no, no, no. no so, all that stuff could go so, into that exclusion. Is that what you're thinking? No, I'm thinking oh, CPA. No. You know, it oh, is CPA. replacing the windows in the town hall. Oh, you, you already did the painting. That's why the painting painting failed because it was maintenance because oh, it was already done once. But if we lose the building, we couldn't oh, paint it. <laughs> well, I'm just yeah. saying they, when it was went through Boston, they said yeah, it was. No, I know. You show that you already did it, so now yeah. it becomes maintenance. But you've never done the windows before, and if you see that they're that the seals are broken, it's preserving it. It's mm -hmm. that's the word you use. It's it's the preser preservation of the building. Yeah. So you use it for CPA. Now that puts it off a little because you know. My yeah, question is, why so much for basement windows? Oh, the basement windows. That's a lot of money for a basement window. Yeah, how many windows? How many windows can you have down there? But just getting them installed under prevailing. Yeah. Really I'll do it. But, it's, <laughs> but, but it's under ten thousand, so do you have to? How is our time? You have to do prevailing wage, yes. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to fit it. That's all. Okay. So. Okay. So I'm just looking to see if there's anything else we can move out of. Yeah. That's 14, it's 31.5 total. Um, I mean, if we took 31.5 plus 25, that's 56.5. I mean, is 56.5 okay for technology upgrades instead of 63.3? I'm sure it's work. Or eight grand off. Yeah. You know? I mean, is that close enough? Yeah. I don't know. 
perpendicular. I mean, it just makes it pushes it over there what to within the What's the uh, what's the number now? I'm just thinking if we have if if we if like we took all these town hall items, eliminated those from within the levy, and the OSHA capital upgrades from fire. That's roughly fifty six five hundred. We're asking for sixty three from the school. Sixty three three. So we're close. Quit there. Seven thousand. But then you're moving thirty five thousand too from the uh, vehicle extraction. Oh, we got equipment. the first vehicle extraction. Oh, yeah, that was an extra that ten. One. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Now what, Amy? Mm -hmm. Why do you yeah. want to move it over though? Well, I guess you don't have to. I guess we could because leave it there. I think, you know, I think the that educational item is probably going to fly. Yeah, I think most time. people would, would would fly for that. So maybe we'd leave it. Yeah, we can leave it. Yeah. I just like it. If we could keep it within the levy, it's something that we want to continuously do. So if we could yeah. kind of continuously keep it there instead of making it a that exclusion, it would be nice. Mm -hmm. Future so, years. Yeah, just from like a philosophical. I was trying to move as much in the levy. So maybe if there's an amount, or if there's an amount, you think these town you go back to school and you can see. Yeah, but I think it's committed. It's that much of a value. Oh, let's let's keep it in debt exclusion yeah, sixty three three. That's what you asked for. I don't know, unless you want think it's. No, I was just seeing if I could move. I know. Over. Yeah. See the value of that. for education. So what was the disposition of the Hearst? Keep it where it is. That's staying with the, we have that in the levy right now, but we'll go back to that. We got to go back to a couple of things. Yes. Okay. So, so schools. Are we good with schools? We're kind of we're trying to shuffle the school money around, but it seems like technology upgrades. So we're here's a thought on the school. Oh yeah. Because their next their next year is a lower year. Sixty three this year. They're looking for thirty eight next year. Why, how about we, if you're going to go out to debt exclusion anyways, why don't you do it as 100 and just, just pass it. next year? Well, you don't have to do it. You yeah. just have the article yeah, there yeah. in the last couple of years, and then you it'll take care of this year's and next year's, and we don't have to go through this exercise again. And then you can buy them as, see, as yeah. it works, as you find deals. I'd help with not having so much fatigue if we keep coming back every day. Yeah, that's. I, I'm, I'm th trying to think of things like that too. That you know, or if it's 38 next year, maybe you can work it in, like what Amy's saying, without having a debt exclusion at all. Work it. We could. That. That's all, that's another possibility. It's a smaller. Or or knock this year's down a bit so that it fits in with what we want to spend, and then next year's a little bit higher. Okay. Well, if I if I just just since we're talking here, I think though if we do the hundred. Just say we do the hundred because we just knocked off some of the big stuff. We just knocked off and we put aside the events. We were, that's going to come up. We put aside <laughs> the locker room. We put aside the so, you know the one point some five you know one point five million. So all that's not here anymore. So right now we if we take that might be one of we only we don't have that many big items going in. Mm -hmm. So maybe we do try that because next year. If school has to come back, I don't want them putting computers in because they're going to be doing new events mm -hmm. and and they're going to be doing locker rooms and if you add it on to that, they're going to be like, what the heck's going on with the school type of thing? Too much. Okay, can we do a two year article? I'm just, yeah, no, I'd rather, I don't know. I like the idea of, of having X, what you said yeah. and then don't come back for a little while. Right. Yeah, because in 2022, we also have the playing fields phase two. I think they're going to be coming back quite a bit. Yeah. And you know, I, I don't borrow it all at once either. I can borrow 60 this year and 40 the next year. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just thinking of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, for this year. I like that. Yeah, I think it gives them more discretion to, mm -hmm. to figure things out. I'm sure they'd grow, be supported if. Yeah, first you took you down, now we gave you more. I was like, oh, we're like, all over No, we're giving you more. <laughs> <laughs> Take it, have a party. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you sorry. I'm the one meeting. Yeah. 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 See how much it pays me. Uh, it's for the Christmas party. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So it's going up to one. Okay, so we're going to make it up. But we're going to borrow. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have to pass town meeting. We have to go yeah, to debt exclusion. It's going to be debt exclusion. Yeah, it's debt exclusion. Yeah. 
and then it, then we could you can tell them what, in, at the town meeting say this is going to cover several years. Yeah. And, 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 and it's a great idea that Linda says I'm not borrowing all at once. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's not like it it won't cost us anymore. It'll just save us some yes time. Having to so redo look all this stuff. Yeah. Another election. You know all those things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. Conservation, land preservation. That's CPA. Um, Council on Aging Computers. Did we talk with them um, at all? I, I may leap on that one because you did talk about that they've, and I don't know whether it was in the meeting or what, I thought there was just some discussion about there being article, uh, that the building article that has will have extra money and could they use that for things inside the building and therefore not have to go out and borrow an extra oh, 20000 at this point. So just let that settle out and put it in. Yeah, we're doing, uh, I, you know, stuff now about furniture, furni furnishings and fixtures over there. So we could put mm -hmm. it on there. Right, especially since you don't, you yeah, don't have a building yet anyway, so we don't need it in the fall. Yeah. So if I, if I, yeah, so I moved it over there, put article, and then if it turns out that that's not appropriate, we could take it up. And we could do it in the in the spring time. In the spring when your too. building's open, yeah. you know what you need and where it's gonna go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. I like that. Okay. Anything else on that? That's good. Um, Board of Health, IT, and software. We still don't know. I don't know exactly what that is. They, they haven't talked to us at all. I, do you have any? Their computer doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. So. And I thought Jennifer had seemed put in the computer up with the as part of the town hall because they are in town hall. But what she wasn't sure of, and I don't think we've talked to them since, is is there something else special for Buffalo? Is there, like, is there software? Special software or is there something else that they were after? So before we took it away, we wanted to make sure. Um, I mean, I say we just keep it on there, and you know, hopefully somebody from the board of health is at town meeting and can talk mm -hmm. to it. I mean, it seems logical. Yeah. Or you know, if if we do talk between now and then, if we increase, let's say they do something, if we were able to make the upper one seventy five and just leave that out, again, you've got one less thing to yeah. discuss. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Which is good. Yeah, they should. They should have better. their own column. It should. It's just go in with town hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or select board. Uh, cemetery committee, gravestone restoration. That's CPA. Mm -hmm. Hadley Media is asking for some equipment, but that comes out of their reserves. Um, and then Municipal Building Committee, Town Hall, replacement of office counters, the basement windows, and then the basement conditioned room. And we have those all coming out of the levy right now. Right. And the conditioned room is more about more than just having that room down there. What it does is open up rooms on in the building because we're using rooms for, we're using upstairs offices for filing cabinets and things because the downstairs is not appropriate. So what you're really buying is upstairs office space. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like a safe room for an apocalypse. That would be neat. <laughs> Maybe a little, little rubber on the sides. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So what do we think on those for? You were saying basement windows might well, be able to be CPA. But then again, it depends when you want to start the project. You mm -hmm. know, if you accept it's seven thousand dollars, you want to start the project now. I wouldn't wait for CPA for seven thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, but if you're not going to start the project now, and you are, it's not going to be something to you doing next summer. Then, yeah, see if you can take it out of them. Mm -hmm. But. Who manages guess, these projects? Is it you, David, or is it? It would be a uh, municipal building committee. Municipal building committee, doesn't it? So it kind of goes through Gary? It does, but it's a 490. Yeah. It goes through yeah. DPW. Yeah. Um, I could see it either way. I mean, I, I guess I'm, there's not huge so amounts. They have, they have plenty to do. They're, they've got a backlog of uh, uh, projects, so they could easily defer this to the annual time meeting. Yeah, but if we're gonna, I mean, you might. As, I'm just saying, if you if you're not gonna do it now, 
and you can defer it because you're definitely because we sit on we give permissions and then we sit on things for a long time. Oh yeah. And if we're going to be sitting on this one, well, why not try to take it out of the um, CPA funds? Now I know it stresses them out a little bit because a lot of times some things get turned down or something mm -hmm. like that. But there is a lot of they can put a lot through, and they could submit it ahead of time and it will run through Boston. They usually send the articles through Stewart over in Boston, yes or no, or, or what his thoughts are, and then it'll come back and he'll say, oh, well, you can't do it for this. Okay, well, let's see if we can reword it for to have it come out because of the seals mm -hmm. of the windows. And maybe we can do the inside, I don't know, but it can't hurt to try. I mean, if we can pull it out yeah. of the Well, let's the keep the other two in right? and take the basement windows out. You don't want to do that? Yeah, but I mean, the, um, the, the condition room can't. That room. can't be. Does that CPA. include the windows in that room? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the we room is. We don't have a room in not I don't know. I can't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, condition room, that is. Maybe it's an inner room. You've got to have the air conditioning. Right, I don't know what the right. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Yeah. That is <laughs> I think it's just to keep the moisture down, probably. Yeah. Which oh, yeah. so. might help with the building. I mean, yeah. you might be able to have an argument for that. But it's just one room. It's, it's not the, the whole basement. Yeah. That would be great. I don't know, though. I don't know. Um, so, I, I, if you're, I would say the whole, are you going to be doing, the counters are a little, if you're going to be doing, you're going to, if you're going to put the basement windows to later, then do the condition room later, because you're going to be doing them at the same time, right? Probably the same contractor. Yep. I don't know, yeah, it would make sense. So if you're doing the counters, that's probably someone, that could be something different, right? Because that's upstairs? No. Oh, yeah, not in the basement. It's not yeah. It's the first floor. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. so you think Town Hall, the, the conditioned room and the windows, just move those, try to get those into a CPA article? Try to put, move those to the CPA, and then if they don't go to CPA, then they just, you know, hopefully we would just move put them where it is. You think they would do a brand new room out of CPA? Really? No, well, I don't think so. Well, they tried to do the library in the library, but it's a new building, so the library, that didn't apply. But the library proposed it, mm -hmm. a whole room. <laughs> it didn't apply because it's yeah. a brand new building. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was a good argument, though. Yeah. We're going to increase our personnel. I'm a little bit worried about. Oh yeah, that's that true. On. What's that? Town um, hall personnel. Yeah, we have a new HR director. You're going to put them in the basement? <laughs> no, we're free. Right. As long as it's properly. It's a conditioned, conditioned room. <laughs> we're all. Gonna, we're going to be fighting <laughs> over that new room. Windows, <laughs> new windows. New windows. Why not? Person put the one in the basement. <laughs> No, that's true. For just personnel space, we yeah. might want to make these a little bit quicker. Then, if you're going to do them quicker, then and you are going to do them, then just take them out of here now. I would say I wouldn't wait. For you. Yeah, I just I say we just keep them here for right now. Okay. Well, they're relatively small. Too. Yeah. They're not yeah. that big. Yeah. No. So let's keep them there. Okay. Okay. And then Goodwin ceiling and wiring improvements was that that those are already CPA articles. These yeah, last three. Yeah, we haven't applied for them yet, but that'll oh, be the, okay. Uh, well, that'll be for the annual. Oh, those meeting. are those are going off. Okay, annual town meeting. Yeah, all three of them. All okay. right. With the spray park. <coughs> yeah. What else is in there? Where's the spray? The park gravestone park? restaurant. Is it Turka Park? I don't know. Is that what it's going to be? Probably. I guess. Yeah, fifteen. So any all these things that uh, for municipal building, I don't see any of those with CPA now, so they're all gonna go later, I guess, for annual. Spring. The, 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 the bottom three there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know in any of them. Is and, is the gravestone restoration on? There it is. No, right. it's not, yeah. The gravestone. And what are, about the hundred thousand land preservation? No, that is not. It's not on either? Okay. I'll oh it on. isn't on there. Okay, I'll move that to, AT, to the annual town meeting to the... Yeah, that's, that's a placeholder. Oh, okay, that's his placeholder. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Switch. Okay. So, so, we have to go back to see if we want to still do um, the 25000 for OSHA, 
and the sixty thousand for the drum. The drum. And let me understand it right. What are we doing for mower and the gas pumps? Are we just reversing? We we're just flipping them. Flip flopping. Flip the funding. Yeah. Okay. But we're going to keep them on, but just flipping. Yeah. Okay. So we moved the Hearst vehicle extrication equipment to within the levy. Right. But did that? We didn't take anything else out, but that pushed us what, up ten k. We took the hydrant marking out. Oh, we took because that you out. Put that into water. Oh yes. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so we have enough money there. If we take out the OSHA and we take out the eleven five, then we have enough to move the thirty five over. Yeah. So do we do that and keep OSHA capital and debt exclusion? Just do that. Because actually we're not, I don't think we're asking. I mean, we're not asking for a lot out of debt exclusion, are we? Uh, right now? I mean, I we're asking for the emergency generator. Yep, that's a hundred. Right. We have the mower. The, the compactor and the mower, let's say, right now. The compactor? Oh, if that's if, 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 if you were to do that, yeah. If we were to do that. We've got the bus and the, the bus, technology yeah. upgrades for the school. Which and we moved to a hundred. Yeah. But that's it, that's and it for that exclusion for right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a big change. Mm -hmm. So we're down to like what is that? Two twenty? 280. You know, if it has come down, I might say the same thing for the OSHA. If there's two years of upgrades, unless we can get, if we're not going to get them into the levy, you're going to go to the trouble of getting debt exclusion. I'm looking again, for the next two years, he has 25,000 a year. We no. do, can we do 50 once? Mike, why does. For OSHA, he has it in there for the OSHA capital upgrade, twenty five thousand this year and twenty five thousand next year. And I think this is he doesn't really know everything that's going to be required, what they need, what they don't. But he knows this is required. He or? knows that the machine is required okay. because of the testing and all that. Now the machine that he said that that I thought they said that um, we're going to have one at the north, the the substation. Yeah. Is there is the money in the budget for that? Can we just take that one? That was that's already included uh, in yeah. that project. in that project. Yeah, Overall that's part costs. of the project. Yeah. Can you take that one and and it, no, you can't no, move it to that. that. Yeah. What if you don't tell anybody? We keep buying it. darkness. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of like the idea of having it be okay. fifty thousand in the debt exclusion line, and then we just don't have it next year. But I don't understand yeah, I don't what know. it's for. The, the 50. Oh. Does it, it buy the OSHA, the OSHA it thing is kind of this, it's a yeah. little bit unclear. It's an unfunded yeah. mandate that isn't very transparent about what they need. We know they need the washing machine, but what there are could the other be things? other things on there that he Makes needs OSHA. ultimately to meet the standard. For, for like for the truck and all that kind yeah, of stuff. There, yeah. yeah, there was, that was one of the things oh, too is like, to, in order for them to climb up the trucks in the station, they need certain fall protection now. Oh yeah, I remember that. And for doing the hoses and these things, and it's a lot of like, yeah. but then the chiefs are also trying to argue against that, you know, so it's kind of like this ongoing, not battle, but just trying to clarify what they need, what they don't need. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing though, if we're gonna be going to town meeting for debt exclusion and so it's going to affect people's taxes you're going to have to really know what yeah. you're buying yeah. <laughs> you're True. going to have to know a little bit you know really feel confident what it is I'm okay with with doing it but you know to be vague and say well we're not sure yeah but that gonna go. well but then that might say why not put the jaws of life you know on debt exclusion and have this there if we're in, in a levy if we don't have to have it vote because most people I think would want the jaws of life. our fire department to have an up to date jaws of life. Yeah. Yeah. In the bags. We in the bags. bags. In the airbags, yeah. Yeah. We did put it in the levy. Yeah, but you're saying Oh oh I'm I saying, see. Why not I'm put saying it why not swap it back because that is so clear. Yeah. 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 So that's why we yeah, trucks go out there because yeah. That's a 
good idea. Yeah, we can do that. I don't know. Yeah, you you definitely get a good vote for yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, it, it, as long as he explains it, because when I first saw Hearst, I'm like, that's right. Oh, Hearst? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, you Hearst. Know well, that's what I did. I looked yeah. it up. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It should be named. It should call it what the right? like. Well, that's what I, when I, when I Googled it, because I didn't know what that was. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. It sounds like they're already dead. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sound good. No, not quite. <laughs> I <laughs> heard it. Yeah. They may be dead, but you still got to get them out. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. Okay. Do we know what we're doing? So Christian's right, and then you leave the Jaws of Life and the exclusion, and then put the other two in Levy. Or, the or other one. just the one, just 25,000 within Levy. Leave the. Leave the OSHA in the levy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as it was. And the, and the jaws of life yeah. in the dead exclusion. Leave the jaws of life not in the levy. Okay, take it out of the levy. All right. Well, um, full circle. As it was. Yeah. Yeah. As it Keep was. it. Don't make any changes. As, as it was. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, jaws of life, dead exclusion. Yeah, and that leaves. Yeah. Let's go over this tomorrow morning, Dave. Just wait. Yeah, you I, will, I will change this. Right we 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 will keep keep talking. Meeting adjourned. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, no, the drum. Uh, the yeah. drum compactor. I say we leave it in there. I don't know. We we got rid of the truck. I say we leave the drum compactor. Does it make their work more efficient? Because they, they have the asphalt. Yeah. The oh, hot sure, box. Yeah. yeah. So as a dead exclusion? Yeah, I guess so. Leave it as it was. And then maybe we can ask them to see if you can find something used that's cheaper. True. But yeah, just because it's used, yeah. it doesn't mean they have to spend it all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rent them. I may end up watching the tape on this one. So, <laughs> Linda and I will... Uh, we'll fix this. We'll come up with a unified list. Okay. All right. You have a lot of uh, votes here. Uh, is it okay if I combine things together? I say yes. I, I say yes. Aye. As the person that's got to read all these out, I think yeah, it would be great yeah. to combine some things. Oh, yeah. By funding source or by department? Are you well, combine? well. By, by type and de department. So equipment for the fire department would yeah. be three or four things bundled together rather yeah. than going through everything now. Item by item, because yeah. otherwise you're going to have um, well, two dozen motions just yeah. on this yeah. article. Yeah. yeah. Well, have a long town meeting. Yeah. yeah. I that think that it's what could be more important, though, is the. I, I agree, bundling is very good, but and and two, it's just the debt exclusions are the ones you're going to have to keep more separate because people are going to want to know how much is yeah. this going to cost yeah. me. Yeah. I like it. I like it by funding source always. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how I think. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of nice that way too, by funding source. So yeah. You know what each category is sort of coming. Well, they might. So, and, and two, some people would be like all for the school bus, but might say, you know what, I don't want to do the the any more DPW. I don't want to do the drum. Yeah. I think that's fair to keep those out. So mm -hmm. yeah, the motion is going to have to specify the department and the funding source. So you're going to be automatically separating the um, type of thing borrowing you're doing, the type of equipment you're purchasing, and who who gets to have it. So to the degree that you can combine these into one motion, I would recommend that because again, you're going to have too many. So, mm -hmm. so for example, if uh, equipment for the fire department uh, would be the uh, generator and the um, jaws, of, jaws life. of life. So for one hundred and forty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, would be one motion. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. if we oh, if we just did separate motions for the debt exclusion ones, I have six if we didn't combine, which isn't too bad. But, but we can could reduce it to five by combining. You're gonna have to do separate motions for the within levy yeah. as well. So yeah. If we can if we can combine those. I think within levy we could say call police police equipment and yeah, equipment. So parts. you've gotten 
four things in one motion. Yeah. If we, could move, if we could somehow combine Three the things. select board, IT, and the board of health, that would be good. That would be yeah. one. Mm -hmm. So, town hall can be all one. The windows, basement, counters. Mm -hmm. And we can have a handout that, that explains what what this is. Yeah. In greater detail. Because somebody can stand up and say, "Can you take this out?" Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. But I think it would be important for such as the school, the school bus to be on one, yeah. and the, the technology to be on a separate one. Yeah, I agree. Because they yeah. are big items. Mm -hmm. And that just, is separate. I, I mean, I just want to allow people to discuss it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to respect their ability to make decisions with right. appropriate information, but at the same time, you want to respect their time. Oh, yeah. That's why yeah. we don't have to read the whole budget yeah. anymore. Yeah. Split yeah. hairs. <laughs> Getting up to too much minutiae. Yeah. yeah. Are you volunteering? You're right. This is going to turn into a marathon. Yeah. So I'll start preparing some motions for the committee to okay. review. Do we want to wait until we have a clean version of this to vote, even though that would mean we'd have to meet again next week? Um, or do you guys feel comfortable voting on this now? Voting on a message. I think you have started it right now. This is, this is just entity. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. I'm okay with that. So, a motion to approve the capital plan as discussed in this meeting. I second that. Revised and re revised. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, when you get this, do look at it. So, yeah. if we have made a decision that, I yeah. mean, if we called it differently than what you remember, please. Say so. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Twenty minutes after time meeting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any further so discussion on this? Start with a motion from Paul and a second from Dick. Okay. Any further discussion? Anybody else here? No questions. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So we're not meeting again. No, no, we're done. No. Congratulations. We got it. The plan. And then a motion to adjourn. <laughs> My wife's going to start calling me first. Did you make someone make an motion to adjourn? Uh, adjourn! <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Now we can eat. Yeah.